Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, so today I am using the Astro Dice uh, along with a combination of tarot and oracle cards to bring you your messages. Um, beginning with the Astro Dice. We have the 11th house, we have the symbol for uh, Taurus, and the symbol for Saturn that has appeared. So let's begin with the 11th house. Um, the 11th house is about um, how you put yourself out there, how you work with others or a, a particular person. Um, it can speak to uh, renewed hope, um, social circles, um, networking. Uh, it is primarily about how you put yourself out there and the reception that you get from others or how you are received, um, how you communicate with others. Um, it also speaks to destiny, our hopes, and our dreams. Now, um, we have uh, Taurus here and Saturn. Um, you may be facing some kind of test when it comes to uh, how you put yourself out there, possibly, or your reactions with Taurus to... Uh, how you are being received, emotional reaction. So uh, with Taurus, we're talking about uh, possibly that you are very sensitive uh, when it comes to a specific area uh, between you and another. Uh, your feelings could get hurt easily. Um, Taurus is about your emotional responses. And uh, the 11th house is about uh, how you uh, how you are received and how you put yourself out there. So I feel like this is tied into some type of emotional response um, to uh, someone. I feel with Taurus also being here that somebody um, may be uh, or have... Uh, or is giving you the impression that they are emotionally detached. Um, you may be trying to uh, figure figure out uh, how someone is uh, feeling. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if they're communicating with you uh, through body language like this, you would be trying to guess what's going on with this person. You may have to rely on past lessons here to guide you uh, or to offer you a solution. You could also feel like someone is hiding something from you. You can be uh, observing this person, just trying to figure out uh, how they feel or even what they're up to or what they're hiding, okay? <clears throat> you have a vision here for the future. Um, it's it, We have the spider. These cards are connected. The spider, uh, the vision, and the noose. So the spider is at the heart of the reading. It, so there's just something you can't quite put your finger on here. There's something that's eluding you. It's why you are... Uh, you may have a very intense focus on uh, on this person, um, trying to figure them out, trying to maybe figure out what their intentions are. Um, it could be that they've made promises or told you things, but the, the body uh, language is not matching up. Um, you could be developing a vision or looking for solutions for change with the vision card. And it's something uh, that you really want to change uh, between you and another um, because 
it needs to change or you need to do this. There is something about this situation or this person that can be really annoying you, frustrating you. You could be in an unhappy living situation with this person um, because of the way they are treating you. Um, you have the noose, so there's a lot of anxiety. You may feel threatened or your status in this relationship could feel threatened. Um, so there could be a lot of negative thoughts going on here. Um, the noose can speak to behaviors and thought patterns that hold someone back um, and prevents them from advancing. So you could be feeling stuck and uh, a pattern of negative thinking could be keeping you uh, this way. And so the spider um, is, uh, it can be that the spider is waiting, observing, digesting what they're learning, trying to come up with a plan. There's a very intense focus on some type of master plan. Uh, something that you are longing for and we see that here um, there's been a lot of uh, negative thoughts or, or, or you've had a lot of negative thoughts and you just want to be able to to put those aside you want to get clear uh, on uh, this person's intentions I feel um, <clears throat> um, so that you can heal the relationship, so that you can come back together, so that it could be like it was before, so that you could move forward together. You're hoping that they will come to you uh, and want to talk about this. That's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for them to come to you and give you some type of explanation for their behavior for the way that they have been treating you or the way that they have recently treated you. They've done something possibly uh, most recently that was uh, very hurtful or said something. So this is an explanation for the wounding, you see. Um, possibly an apology um, in order to uh, in order to restore the balance between you two and come back together. You could, uh, this can be some type of changing uh, thoughts. There could be news that comes uh, here uh, that uh, some type of new communication or a new communication that has come in, depending where you are in this energy, uh, that changes uh, your thoughts possibly uh, about uh, somebody's intentions perhaps about healing the relationship so maybe they, they that there has already been a discussion about healing the relationship but yet and new promises made but nothing uh, it's like the it's like they're not standing behind it it's like words in the wind um promises in the wind it just they say them one minute and the next minute they're gone you know um and so you're you're, you're trying to figure them out and you're trying to uh figure out something i feel something some new information either has or will come to you you're, go, you're, you're about to learn something new here. This is uh, about a decision for, uh, for or on, actually on a relationship. You know, is there, is there still a relationship here? Can we move it forward? Or will there be a relationship here? Um, the Page of Cups in reverse can speak to um, somebody maybe acting uh, childish 
or somebody who is being over dramatic. Um, it can be, um, you might feel like uh, you, somebody doesn't return your feelings. You could be emotionally frustrated. You may receive some or have received some, uh, um, some rather upsetting news that uh, has made you very fearful about this person's intentions. So you, you could be going back and forth on that. There, it could be that there's information uh, possibly of a third party possible for someone. Uh, but there's no, uh, the wheel is empty. It's just a wheel. So it's like a loop. Um, and, and I feel like maybe you don't have any solid proof. It's a thought, maybe. Maybe it's that the negative thinking maybe you have been hurt in the past because maybe there was somebody in the past and that wound still bleeds, bleeds and maybe that is the sensitive spot um, and because she would be unfaithful in the reverse uh, and uh, um, she would be upset. So, uh, I mean, it could be that you are feeling upset uh, because of an old wound that may have resurfaced here um, because with the Taurus symbol, we're talking about uh, hurt feelings and grudges. So you may be seeking some uh, information or clarity uh, with regards to emotional and mental turmoil over something you suspect might still be going on. You may feel like you're not going to get your wish for this new start or to be able to wipe the slate clean because of something you're about to learn. So this is information you do not yet have, but you will have because it's sitting in the future about uh, this person, this partner of yours, and possibly... Um, possibly about uh, a lover. So this brings change that you do not want. Like, because you still want this relationship. Um, but it could be, uh, you know, I, I mentioned about you having uh, your feelings not being returned. Uh, and so that is a strong possibility. It is a strong possibility that this has become a relationship of convenience for at least one of you because I feel like one of you still has very deep feelings for the other, but we, we have this other person in the reverse. We have them being very cold and detached. Um, there's evidence here of a past deception that broke your heart and a possibility that it is still going on. And so here we have the serpent, um, which speaks to healing. It speaks to gaining some type of knowledge and we see that knowledge coming here and it comes from outside in and it is connected to someone in the tower so it most likely this is connected to your partner um and so uh you will gain new information uh which will give you a clearer understanding of a situation uh, a situation that you are 
trying or have been trying to heal from. Um, the serpent's message is one of healing or, and of gaining knowledge. Whatever situation you're in right now is meant for the purpose of gaining this knowledge. It's why Saturn is here, you know. Um, it's why Saturn is here. Um, and so this most likely is this test um, where you're going to have to rely on your past lessons because this is something that's repeating. You, the knowledge here is important for your growth. You may be suffering because there's aspects of yourself that are wounded and still need tending. And yes, we see that here. Um, and so the serpent is, is like, uh, it's like saying now is the time to tend to these wounds. And this just brings it back into awareness. This uh, really is going to remove the bandage and have you look at it. Okay, because it's just been bandaged up. That's all. So, and it's going to have you look at it. And you need to allow this knowledge to come to consciousness. Um, and th this is going to be done through reflection and meditation. We have Merlin here also, which is about justice. You also have the justice card, so justice will be done. Um, you may need this knowledge to restore the balance uh, within you. You have all that you need to move forward, and you can summon Merlin to help you find an answer that is within you. And you will do this through meditation. You are to pay attention to the signs because your answers are not in the obvious places. Um, he can also be telling you that justice will be done in all matters of your, of your query. Okay. This card, uh, I just want to leave you with a final thought. Because this card can be asking you, what do you need to do or to change to bring balance back into your life? This is the question I feel that you need to meditate upon. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.